Hello and welcome to gatewayapi.com. Today I will show how to set up a webhook to receive incoming status reports from Gateway API. First, you go to settings and webhook. From here, you get the option to administrate and add new webhooks. I've already created mine, but I haven't set anything up yet. To do this, I will first need to make some code that can run behind the webhook and I need somewhere to host it. For my code, I use the Python library Flask and I make a simple service that will get the incoming status reports and write them to a file with the message ID and the status of the message. Now I run my script so it's hosted on localhost and then I use a clever little tool called ngrok to actually make a tunnel to my localhost so this can be accessed from the internet. I copy the URL that ngrok gives me and I use this as my webhook URL. When I've set this up, I choose this webhook to be my status report webhook. I click save, and then I will just show you that in webhook, now my status reports webhook has this batch saying status default. I will now send a couple of messages from my account to show how the incoming reports can look when I put them into my text file. First, I send to a number that exists, and afterwards, I will edit my script a bit to send to a number that does not exist, just to show you how it can look for an undelivered message and a delivered message. Now I'm editing my script with the wrong number, and I will send the message. And then I will go in to the folder where I've saved my text file. It is in my example. You can use a database or any other thing you'd like to do. And you will see it has two lines saying that the message is on its way and one that is not delivered and one that is delivered, just like expected. If you need anything else, you can go to gatewayapi.com. From here you can find a link to our documentation. You can write us on our live chat or you could go to our YouTube channel and watch our other video guides.